you had the choice to live in an RV, van, motorhome, school bus, class A, class C, sprinter van, what would you choose to live in? Well, I'm gonna to talk to you today about my choice to live in a class C and why I chose it in my very first five minute video. Right. Welcome to a brand new Carolyn's RV Life series called Five Minute Videos. In this series, I'm gonna answer your most frequently asked questions in five minutes or less. Most of these questions have been answered somewhere along the lines in much longer videos, but they keep coming up. So I'm gonna spend five minutes going through all the questions that you're asking me the most and making it extremely simple to find, to search, and to understand. Let's get started. Why did I choose to live in a Class C RV? Three simple reasons. Number one, I like the van chassis. It actually sits on a Ford van chassis as opposed to a Class A, which isn't on, I don't even know what a Class A is, but I kind of just liked that it's on a truck. It's a regular Ford van, really. So if I need any work done, it's just a Ford van as opposed to something more complicated. Number two, why did I choose a motorhome over a van? I like the space. I have a 24 foot motor home. I like the space. I couldn't live in a van. It's too much like a cave for me. I spend a lot of time inside on the laptop. I didn't want to be sitting on a bed feeling claustrophobic inside. And so I chose a, a class C, I, I chose a motor home and it's a 24 foot. My first one was 29, I ended up downsizing. And I chose that because I, I, I like the room, I like the headroom, I like being able to get up and walk to the kitchen and walk to the bathroom. And um, so the space is just really important to me, the openness, the windows, I like all of those things. The third reason I chose a class C is because I like being able to go from my living quarters to my driving seat, driver's seat without having to go outside of my rig. Unlike a trailer or some other things that you might choose to live in that you would actually have to exit your living quarters to get into the driver's seat, that was that's a big one for me. I just don't feel, while I've never had any issues out here and I don't generally feel like I'm in danger, I just feel like if something did happen and I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I am at literally trapped in a box, literally, in a trailer. You're trapped in a box if you can't get out and make it to the driver's seat. So that's really important for me to be able to go from living quarters to the front seat. And I guess I have a fourth reason. I didn't like the big boxiness of the Class A's. That big, you know, it's a big, almost straight, boxy. I think they might be taller. At least they look taller than the Class C. Uh, and they have, you know, it's just one giant window. And just the way I drive, the roads that I go on, the places that I like to boondock, uh, this just seemed like a better choice for me. A little bit more aerodynamic and a little bit less uh, boxiness to get if I have to drive through trees and bushes, which I do sometimes. And so that was another benefit for me for the class C. Um, oh, wow. That was only two minutes. <laughs> All right. So those are the big reasons for me for choosing a class C. Um, to recap, I didn't want a van because it's too small and too claustrophobic for me. Even the class B plus vans, like the Mercedes Sprinter vans, they're long and narrow. I just really don't like how those uh, feel. Um, you know, actually another consideration actually was price. If you wanna get an older used class C RV, I think they're cheaper usually than vans. Vans have become so popular. The prices are really going up and I was able to get my first one for 8,000. It was really old and a piece of crap and I put a lot of money into it. Uh, and then this one I got for uh, more than that. I think like 14, or I think 14,000. And uh, it's a 93, no, what is it? This is a 2004 Class C Winnebago Itasca Spirit. And uh, it had about 50, would it have 57,000 miles on it when I bought it and I paid about 14,000. So uh, uh, a dealer, and I got it from a dealer in uh, Albuquerque. So those are my reasons. Space, being able to go from living quarters to the front without exiting the vehicle. Having the van chassis uh, makes it easy to work on and get parts for, and the space. So those are all the reasons I chose to live in a class. Okay, I hope you found that really helpful. And if you did, be sure to stay tuned. There are a lot more to come, a lot more adventure and five minute videos. Be sure to subscribe below. And if you want instant access to hundreds more videos and 
and you want to support this channel and help me keep making videos, be sure to click over here and check out Patreon. We have a really nice tight-knit community there. And in the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. Mwah.